Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another swatch party video. I am so behind on all these like swatch videos, etc. But in an attempt to catch up, I will be swatching for you guys today the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Now, I had no intention of picking this up. I'm pretty sure I even put it on my Instagram saying I wasn't gonna buy it. But lo and behold, I have it here because I actually was picking up the It's My Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics and it was $45 to free shipping and this palette was only like $22 so I was like well I might as well grab the Zodiac palette. This palette was only $20. Such a good deal and I haven't really used anything from BH Cosmetics since I tested out the Carly Bible palette so I thought it would be so much fun to get my hands on this and see if this formula was any good. So this is what the palette looks like and I'm gonna stop blabbering and get into some swatches. Okay guys, I also forgot to talk about this. So this is the sleeve. A lot of people say this looks like the Kat Von D Vivita Loca palette and if you guys remember that palette, it also has a sleeve but there is no front cover on the Kat Von D palette. I do appreciate that BH Cosmetics gave this one a lid and it comes with a decent mirror and on the front it's so pretty it just says zodiac and it says bh cosmetics 25 color eyeshadows and highlighter palette and it says total net weight is 1.06 ounces and on the back it says add captivating dimension to your look with our versatile zodiac 24 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette a celestial spectrum of buttery mattes, iridescent shimmers, and a baked highlighter for an eternal glow. And also it says on here that it has a 24 month shelf life, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Now when I saw this palette online, I really wasn't attracted to the matte shades. I mean, they're like, okay. I did think the baked formula did look really beautiful, all these different colors, but I really wasn't excited to pick it up because I had never tested out their um, baked formula, but I was like, you know, why not? Like I said, I was going to try and get free shipping. I'm also not really like big on Zodiac signs, but I am a Capricorn. So that means my birthday is in December. And so this is the shade for the Capricorns, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you know somebody that's really into the Zodiacs, I guess this could be potentially a really awesome Christmas present. So I want to get the boring shades out of the way. Boring. They're not probably boring, but... But, you know in my brain I was like mm. so let's go ahead and swatch from here I already did dip into some of the baked formulas but those are the first couple of matte shades and let me go ahead and put them right here that's actually not bad at all I would say I feel like they might blend pretty decently like I said I haven't used BH Cosmetics in a really long time I personally did purchase both of the Carly Bible palettes and I wasn't that impressed with either of them I think if you have light skin it might work for you but with my skin tone I was like really missing something you know what I mean so here are some of the purples I think if you're really into like purples wow these are actually swatching really gorgeous I mean it's really hard to find such variety when it comes to purples I feel like in the end of the day they all muddy and look the same now a swatch video is in no way like my you know end all be all of this palette I'm gonna have to test it out but like I said it just came in the mail and I just thought it would be so fun if I swatched it for you guys because I really like making swatch videos and people really seem to enjoy them too. I get quite a few views on my swatches. And sometimes after I swatch a palette and I decide I don't like it, I don't even go on to test it. Sometimes I'll either take it back to the store or instantly regret buying the palette. Like, for example, I did a swatch video on the collab eyeshadow palettes. I had picked up two from Sally Beauty. I really didn't like those palettes. I really think they're, not that they're overrated, but I just didn't think they were that good. So... In case you were wondering where my review was on those collab palettes, it's not going to happen because I already took them back. And yeah, I'm just over Sally Beauty. I had kind of a weird experience in that store because I went back to return it and the girl was like, oh, we'll give you store credit. So then I actually ended up calling 
customer service from my phone and they're like no you can totally return that so I had to go back into the store tell her that I had somebody from Sally Beauty customer service on the line and then that girl had to be on speaker and be like nope the customer can return it you need to return her money I felt really bad but I also I was like I really don't want store credit at Sally Beauty if it was like Target Sephora Ulta I would be totally fine with it but I never go to Sally Beauty and now it's like I'm totally done shopping there. And then the last matte shade is this beautiful army green. I honestly don't think I have a color like this. I saw somebody getting their nails done this color. Oh my gosh. I was like, that's such a pretty color. So these are all the matte shades. I'm so impressed with the swatches of these palettes. I'm really excited at how much like some brands are stepping up their palette game and like ColourPop, I mean, I could talk about ColourPop all day. I feel like I'm constantly uploading swatches or reviews of ColourPop palettes because they keep coming out with them and I just feel like they're so good. It's like ColourPop can't stop, won't stop. You know what I mean? Anyway, so now I'm going to swatch the highlighter in the middle. Let's just do that really quick. This definitely feels like a baked... Are these called baked gelées? I don't know. I feel like this highlighter would be a little too light for me, but... Things surprise me sometimes. Let me just, and then I'm like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it has like a yellowy undertone. I have so much highlighter on, but like who cares? Cause I'm really not going anywhere after I'm done filming this. I am just like after work and then I went and got my nails on. So it's about eight o'clock at night and I'm really impressed with how well my makeup lasted. I had to touch up a little bit around my nose, but I'm wearing the Estee Lauder, um, like their aqua foundation and this lippy is new this is from that Kat Von D farm animal something collection this is the shade Hilda it's the most beautiful nude for my skin tone so I'm obsessed with that that just came in the mail yesterday also you guys should know if you aren't following me on Instagram I don't know why you wouldn't because I unbox all of my stuff on there so if you want to see what new makeup I picked up I would definitely hop on and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put my handle right here so you guys can find me. Otherwise, I will leave the link down below. So I did swatch these, a few of them, last night because I was just so excited. So this is Capricorn, um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra. These, oh my god, I can't wait to put this palette on my eyeballs. It swatches so beautifully I'm really gonna be disappointed if this palette sucks because honestly like these swatch like high-end shadows and it's $19.99 for this palette that's insane insane so now I'm gonna swatch Virgo Leo Cancer and Gemini so gorgeous let's go here they're so sparkly. I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen like buttery sparkly shades like this in a long time from any palette. Like they're pretty glittery, but I feel like with a the Too Faced glitter glue, that's what I use anytime that I want something to like really stick to my eyeballs. And I just, I can't wait to try this out with that glue. Okay, so I have four shades left. So we got to swatch Taurus. We have Aries, Pisces, and Aquarius. Are you seriously kidding me right now? Look at this color. What? That's nuts. Okay, so Taurus, Aries, we have Pisces, and this one is Aquarius, which is like a beautiful green to reddish flip. So here is all of the swatches of the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. I personally am so impressed from the swatches. I know swatches don't mean everything, but I will test this puppy out for you guys. And hopefully I'll have a review up on my channel in a timely manner. 
keep in mind it is the holidays so there's like a million palettes coming out so that's why I try to like at least upload a swatch video so you guys know if these like go on sale you can like quickly pick it up um, the only thing with the zodiac palette that I bought is I bought it directly on BH cosmetics I don't know if this is available on Ulta's website but it was worth the risk because I was literally thinking like wow I get two eyeshadow palettes for the price of one at Sephora and they're huge like look at all this product like are you kidding me it was such a great deal so definitely would recommend putting this on a you know Christmas list if you are shopping for somebody and you don't want to spend a ton of money I feel like this is everything somebody would need even if they were started playing with makeup and they really enjoyed glitter I would recommend this palette so anyway that is everything from me with the zodiac palette let me know if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment down below thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day bye